yo, 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 what's up, party people? What's going on? Our back, just as I said, at the four o'clock hour. Bad squirrel, what's going on, my bro? Welcome, welcome. Webster 1911, what's going on, my dude? Welcome aboard. Hope everybody has had a great Sunday. We're going to fly around a little bit today. And uh, so I hope you are... I hope you all uh, stick around with me as long as you possibly can. And uh, yeah, man, it's been a great company, uh, and I've uh, been been chit chatting with Bad Squirrel all day, bro. Been having some fun with them. The new aspiring pilot to be. <laughs> so we sitting around in the uh, beautiful, beautiful city of Miami, Miami Beach. At Miami International, uh, this is the Nimbus. I believe this belongs to Nimbus. The Nimbus uh, paywear scenery. And uh, first flight's gonna be uh, up to Orlando. And uh, we'll just hop around for a little while. Yes, sir. Miami, Florida to Orlando, Florida. <laughs> Orlando, Texas. No, no, no. Orlando, Florida. Yes, yes, yes. We are going to... Uh... We're going to do a little southeast, southeastern hopping. So we just uh just gonna kind of chill out for a little while got some time man check out this scenery man look it's downtown miami very very beautiful scenery and uh another thing uh we're gonna do in this uh in this stream we're gonna go ahead and uh we're gonna check out some of uh, the video man footage that uh hd sim turn the music down a little bit but HD Sim, uh, HD Simulation, when he gets in, uh, we're going to uh, we're gonna check out some of his videos while we're in flight, man, of the Flight Sim Expo. He's got some great footage and some, I saw some really, really cool stuff, man, that they, uh, they're looking towards uh, working on. And, and yeah, so we're gonna check out some of his videos. Jay, what's going on, bro? Welcome aboard, my guy. Welcome aboard. He says, I'm bored and checking in, Captain. Good, good, good. Well, as of this point, you guys are still hanging out in the in the terminal, so. Uh, but yeah, man, welcome aboard, man. We, we're glad to have you guys. We're glad to have you. Got a really, really neat surprise for you guys later on, so. Uh, 
Hang tight, hang tight. We're gonna get the stream going, man. Get some flights going. And uh Yeah, man. We're just gonna check out this scenery for a little while, man. Look at that. We are ready to go, uh, in terms of the flight. And uh, we're gonna fly uh, Zebo. We're, we're gonna start off with the Zebo mod. Uh, I'm not using the latest version of the Zebo mod because of the sound issue and some of the little bugs that the 7378 kind of came with. <clears throat> but what I was able to do, or what I did was, when you're creating the RG, or you're getting the RG modification. You have to basically recreate, rebuild uh, the aircraft with some of the objects and things like that. So that, those, uh, those object files are, uh, are pretty much the same. I didn't change, I didn't change or add them. So we're going to fly that one. Uh, it flies pretty good. The sounds work very well. And, uh. And then we'll jump into the, the 900, maybe. We're on the tower view, so. Let's see. Uh... We're on the tower view, so. What we'll do. There's the seat bone. Trying to keep it low. Let's zoom out. See how much of the city we can grab. With a little camera manipulation. Yeah, that looks pretty good to me. Very beautiful scenery, man. Got all the buildings. It's, it's modeled pretty well, man. I gotta give it to these guys. They, they do a damn good job of putting this shit together. And golly, it takes so much time. Buildings back there. X and Viral is just amazing with this haze, right? <laughs> if you're realistic on the distance, I guess, right? How far you are. Look out. Really nice scenery. I think everything is to the uh, to the north of the airport. Yeah, everything is to the north of the airport. But anywho, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get this bad boy jumping off. Let's get our ground crew together. Uh, it's not a it's not really uh it's not really fog it's more of a of a haze uh X, what it, x and viral does is it adds that level of realism after a certain distance after you you zoom in a certain distance you gotta imagine okay your eyes don't see that far and so that's what they're manipulating that you can kind of see the silhouette of the buildings but um, you uh, you don't actually get to see the building. Is.
Oh yeah. Gotta be careful, man. That thing will trick you if if you don't make sure that uh if you don't make sure you're zoomed up to the latest or zoom that uh the track bar uh at the bottom of the video bar. If you cl click off of it, YouTube will start you where you stopped. <laughs> And sometimes it will refresh the entire video, so yeah. We get uh, we got boarding going. Go ahead and jump in the uh, flight deck. I just pressed that live with the live button. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I didn't know you could do that. All right. So that, that that's good to know. Just hit the live button and it'll it'll, it'll bring you back. It'll bring you back uh, current. Ooh, man. I take this in your size suitcase for no particular reason, Captain. <laughs> you had to take that up with the flight attendant. Uh, and and, and uh, baggage service. I, I don't I don't deal with those type of customer service issues <laughs> and uh, based on the size of it uh, that's a would be considered a, a, a paid revenue passenger so yeah you got to take that up with the company man all right so we can go ahead and get your plane at least going. Get it started. We'll go ahead and turn the battery on. Standby power. Emergency exit lights go on. And uh, we'll turn this over the battery. We'll get this over the ground. Let ground power go ahead and get connected. Turn on our half fuel pump. Turn on panel light. Electric breakers. Everything else is pretty decent for now. Turn the packs off. Get a steady light on, let them know that we are inside the aircraft. Uh, look around. Go up and turn on the IRS's. Like Alright, we hit that over to now. Hit the line. Over the nav. Get that in there, we got that going. Something's going funky with the lights up there, but that's all good. Alright, and I'm gonna hit the master control, we'll turn the uh, FMC warning off with lock the boilers in place. Go over here to the uh, IRS's while we're doing that, we turn off the power lights here. And lights on the first officer side. Hit clear for the advanced fuel. It's just a dummy, it's totally not real. <laughs> yeah, you definitely gotta take that up with uh, American Airlines customer service. Just don't, you just don't handle those type of issues. All right, uh, we need 17, so we put uh, 18,000 pounds worth of fuel to get to Miami, so we don't need much, a little bit to get us over. And our payload is going to be 40, 
three. So we've got a pretty decent, pretty decent, uh, decent flight. Okay, uh, let me, let me see that. Alright. Alright, what about now? Is that, is that a little better? Uh, I turned it up, uh, I turned it up, uh, a notch or two. All right, so uh, anywho, we'll get started. We'll get going. You guys, uh, you let me know if, if that's better. Yeah, okay, cool. Great. I'll make sure you guys can hear me, man. All right, so we stopped at our payload. And uh, what we're going to do is... Uh, Some brief back up. All right, we got that in there. We're gonna hit back. Got 24% on the uh, center gravity announcement board. We want to make sure we've got the right American Airlines two. Take American Airlines two. We'll save that in there. Uh, hit clear. Init ref. We'll go KMIA. Hit that in there, we'll hit next page, go to GPS left, back page, we'll hit that in the IRS's. They do a line, and we also get the coordinates in the IRS display. Come back, jump back down here, we'll hit roof. Now what I do like in the update is, like they did before they, uh, before Zebra actually released the very first version of this, uh, of the 800 is when you put your when you used to put in the uh, the position uh, the position ref the KMIA down in the scratch pad when you clicked it up there it would give you all that information you had to put even though you even though you put a GPS or coordinates or the KMIA coordinates in in the IRS position, it was still when you got to the init ref page, the KMIA was still being the scratch pad, and all you had to click up to add it. But yeah, they took it out. Ooh. Or well, they put it back rather. It's, they took it out in this version, but they put it back in the new version. So when they get the bugs worked out of it enough to where it's uh, doable. I forgot our, our fly sign, 1550, call sign, SWA 1550, all right, put that down in there. Yeah, when they fix it, we'll fix it. <laughs> all right, so uh, Simbri says we only need to use 13,000 pounds of that fuel. Put that in there, taking eight on reserves. And cost index is going to be six for today. Flight level is going to be 280. What we have and 203 at 19 knots. Uh, deviation is going to be 11. Hit execute. And there they are there. We'll go to takeoff. We hit flaps 5. Got a percentage of 2.4 center of gravity, and that'll give us 
shot of. 140v1, 142v2, and 151vr. We'll go up here to the MCP and we'll put 154 plus 5. Alright. And we'll go down here. Oh no, that's 151, so 151 plus 5 is 156. Cool. Almost got me there. But a departure and we'll stop. <clears throat> because let's see who's on that set. If we can get some coverage. Alright, so at this point. Go ahead and start the boarding process. Hey, what's going on, Bill? What's going on, my bro? Welcome, welcome aboard. Guys, the Leo's on Glad the you could make it, man. I just leave my son in the lobby. <laughs> I mean, my suitcase. I leave my suitcase. Boy, you are hilarious, my dude. <laughs> So we've got a uh, we've got a uh, get the yeah, airport some information. Here we go for KMIA. All right, <clears throat> plans delivery is going to be on one three five point five five. So Tune that into the box. Well, actually, I, I'm so used to using Pilot Edge. I I, I know that we have it. Tell me for you, uh, Miami. Okay, so we have Miami Atis, uh, Miami Center. So we'll put one three two point two five box there. But the eight is in it. I'm not American three nine at this point. No. Temperature two eight. At two point two four. I'll pin the three zero zero two. Approaches are being conducted to parallel to Murphy using the fair forcing runway. Arrivals expect ILS runway 8 right, ILS runway 9, all aircraft ILS runway 1, join WO combined altitude, aircraft land runway 9, all runway 1, two, and stop at 8 full short, but drive on north if unable, you have in the parking runway 8 left, 8 right, 9, 1, 2, Miami International Airport 8 has information at Nova, then 21530, one 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 four five. Visibility one zero. 
Cedar Clark and Loud Neck 5,500. One of zero thousand Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was interesting. So, uh, I look at the, uh, DMA ART. I'll go on the website because that was absolutely horrendous. Coronatus. Alright, anywho, uh, we're doing, um, what do we say, 280? Yeah, we're going up to flight level 280. I don't know if they want the FL in front of it or not. That's fine. We are going to be departing 1640. Actual time will be 1645, right? Hour and 50 minutes. <clears throat> That's not correct. So about an hour. Yes, about an hour and ten minutes. Uh, no, flight time is actually fifty-two plus. Uh, so it's fifty-eight minutes. Not twenty-eight. Fifty-eight. And uh, according to sim brief, we've got. Hour and thirty six minutes. One hour thirty six minutes. Take that out of there. There's the root. Send that off. Make sure they have that. Looks good to go. Alright, so the ATIS says, uh, our ATIS for, that's not right, KMIA, that's the ATIS for KMIA says that we have, uh, let's see here. KMIA is uh, 14 uh, winds at 1407 knots. So we'll be probably going out of the 8. Left uh, 1 0 statue miles of its ability. Uh, scattered at 2800. Uh, scattered at 9500. Scattered at 16,000. Broken at 25,000. And temperature is 28, 2.24, altimeter 3002. So we'll go ahead and add, drop, drop that in the uh, altimeter 3002, 3002. Nope. One more. Two. All right, cool. <clears throat> yeah, we when you uh, when you uh, when you fly uh, when you fly uh, the airliners, basically, you pretty much are gonna fly, fly an IFR plane. Basically, not really gonna ever fly a VFR plane okay. in an airliner. All right, so that's uh, so what's that, Solomon? Su uh, Solomon, Suli Suleiman, Malik. No, I just use your your last name, Malik. I'm gonna stop doing that. I'm gonna stop trying to pronounce it live. <laughs> All right. All right, Malik. So uh, welcome aboard, bro. Welcome, welcome, welcome. CRJ. I have a. C I have the CRJ. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll fly it. We'll fly it when we. Uh, let's see. We'll fly. Uh, we'll fly to CRJ when we get to uh, Montgomery. I think we're gonna do. Uh, 
Miami to Orlando, Orlando to Montgomery, Alabama, and then Montgomery, Alabama to Atlanta, Georgia. And then we'll see how much time we run it on. We may throw that uh that DC that DC flight in there again. Just for the uh the river visual. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. All right, so uh, yeah, uh, Berto, what's going on, my dude? Welcome aboard, bro, bro. Glad you made it. So glad you made it, man. Uh, I'm sorry I was setting up the plane, so I missed a lot of this stuff. What graphic card you have? I am actually, for this um, setup, I'm running the um, AMD 580. Uh, I believe it's called the, the Radian, Radian, Radian 580. My, my graphics, uh, they're, they're, they're pretty good. They're pretty good for what they do. All right, so uh, Malik, yeah, welcome aboard, bro. We're gonna, um, we'll fly to CRJ for you, man, if, you, if you're still here. Do here, we'll fly to CRJ. <coughs> Winds 140 at seven nights visibility. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it, appreciate it. There you go, you broke it down for everybody that, uh, that don't know how to read it. So I appreciate that, Bill. Appreciate that 100. Captain, I wanted the window seat, but this kid told me no. <laughs> hey, man, I, I you got to take that up with the flight attendants, man. All right, so Miami Senate just went offline, so that's all good. We'll go ahead and set up uh, our push. We got a couple guys out here. Uh, we'll take a look in just a second. Uh, where's better push? Yeah. I believe eight is going to be to the... to the right of our position at this point. Ground to cockpit, plan acknowledged. Call me yeah. through the menu when you are ready. Um, I swear Vassim goes offline everywhere till someone streams every time. So, yeah, man, you know, it, that, I noticed that. You see it across, uh, see it across, uh, the other bigger streams. You know, those guys are, are always using Vassim for the most part. And you never seem to catch them. Okay, Berto. Hey, man. We'll, we'll appreciate you stopping through, eh? And, uh, you know, as long as you can hang, hang, you know? And I think I'll be here for a little while, man. But, uh, yeah, stop stop in later on, man. We got a big, big, big surprise coming through, man. And some, some info you probably don't want to miss out on. But, you know, you can go back and watch it. Uh, what is that about? That was okay. Uh, yeah, I, I like. Uh, I I I I started to go ahead and 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 use um, Batsim for the simple fact that um, yeah, we got eight right, so yeah, we got to push correct. Um, I like to use Batsim. Uh, because I would like to have air traffic control wherever I go, but um, uh, 
you know how it goes, man. I mean, you watch those streams. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm kind of stuttering through this. I'm pulling my charts and things. I'm using the new uh, Navigrav charts desktop, so getting kind of used to to using it. I have to get used to using it. See, with my iPad. Using Four Flight for my charts and stuff. But Four Flight online doesn't work as well as it does on the iPad. All right, standard instrument departures we filed. <coughs> Oh, hit a headley too. Uh, brain for or bag of Baron the Baron for. All right. So, got the headley two departure. Pull that up. Sure. Check it out. Let's see what the obstacles. Runway eight left buildings. At 3,390. Um, at the departure run. At 10,024, or 1,024 feet. Left turn of center. Uh, 60 degree. Thank you. Okay. Bicycle container. Okay. Alright, so there is a building at the edge of the runway. That is going to be in the way. So we have to, uh, when we depart, we have to uh, at a, a thousand, basically at a thousand, we had to turn, make a left turn of one six zero. Uh, out of out of the uh, the airspace to avoid running into that building. So other than that, that's all of the obstacle issues for us. Cool, looks pretty decent to me. Pull that. Uh, I'm getting used to also the uh, the chart that has the moving um, the moving you know, thingy, whatever. It tracks your movement. Yes, man, I've, I, um, I checked out, <clears throat> I checked out HD simulations, um, his, uh, I checked out his, uh, oh, that's why you're doing that. <laughs> Picked the wrong one. Hey, let's do this. Drive away. Everybody. Go away. All right. Yeah, I checked out uh, HD Simulations, uh, his live video, man. They've, they're, they're doing some amazing things with that 787. Uh, 787 project that they have going on in, uh, While we're in flight, man, I'm gonna pop pop that video in as a little uh, in-flight video, and uh, we can check out some of the stuff that they're uh, that they were talking about doing, man. They were some amazing, amazing stuff. Hey, uh, Webster, see, you, bro. Uh, thanks for thanks for coming in, stopping by, bro. I know it's uh, Sunday afternoon. Everybody's got certain things to do. I'm usually busy on Sunday evenings, but pretty pretty free today. Till late, late, late this evening. Um, but anyway, we're just gonna fly. Uh, but yeah, uh, we're gonna definitely uh, watch some of his videos, man. He's got some great footage, man, from um, Vegas. So yeah, yeah. Ground crew is getting out of there. We'll go ahead and turn on the APU, get the APU started. Before we disconnect ground, we'll turn the anti-collision lights on. 
just because I like to forget this since I'm already up here, I'll go ahead and set this to eight zero. Ladies and gentlemen, the boarding door is now closed. Flight attendants, prepare doors for departure. Cross check, fair price job, send by for all call. All right, so window seats. So here's the thing about window seats in the Zebo. They don't right, work the way that I want them to. And so what I'm going to do is, and and I'll make a note of it because I said I, I've been supposed to do this for a little while. Um, I've been supposed to do this for a little while and uh, I'm gonna go in and, and learn how to take the invisible wall out of the, the uh, fuselage and that way we'll be able to uh, we'll be able to uh, set the window views like we have them in the 900 so we got a Delta plane out there we've got a uh, the American plane out there and so uh, Delta plane sitting on top of uh, British Airways plane. We got a little thunder, I heard. A little thunder come through there. And a uh, Delta plane. I know that if I turn off the parked aircraft, that, that'll stop happening. All right, so we've got a uh, APUs on. We get the APU bleed on. Engine bleeds on. We'll go ahead and disconnect ground power. All right, everybody is away. Everybody's away. So we'll go ahead and uh, get the auto gate out of there. We're all boarded up. Emergency signs are on. Seatbelt signs are on. Go ahead and get our pushback truck to come and get us. Ground and cockpit, tow is driving up. All right, so we get this up to APU. Everything else looks pretty decent. We don't need uh, logo lights at this time. We'd like you to direct your attention to the video screen located throughout the cabin. <laughs> Sorry, I built that building. Texting and flying. <laughs> be careful, bro. Be careful. LAX Center on Vatsim is lit. Is it? <laughs> I, I, anytime I'm in LA, man, I, I usually use, or really on the western part of the United States, I use Pilot Edge just because when I look, they're not online, you know, so. Okay. All doors and hatches are closed. Ready to connect. They're never online, so I, I have to. I guess I have to try to catch them when they're when they're online. I was I always see the videos and hear about uh, the different mishaps that come about on VATSIM. Tug view is gonna lift us up here. Tow connected and bypass pin inserted. Release parking brake. Starting pushback, and you may start engines. All right, so we'll go ahead and uh, turn on our fuel pumps here. Go up here and uh, turn on uh, electrical pumps. Packs aren't on. Go ahead and uh, turn the ground power on.
And one's rising. That's 19%. Go ahead and add fuel. EGT is rising. And one's rising as it should be. We'll wait for that pop back to come about. There's the pop back. Go ahead and get number one over the ground. Starting to rise there. Catch it spooling up there. Go ahead and have fuel. T's rising and one's rising everything's looking pretty decent fuel flow is good fuel flow oil pressure oil temperature is good operation complete go ahead and set the parking brake vibration is coming down we'll go ahead and click that parking brake Got the pop back. Stand by. All right, we'll go ahead and get uh, Gen 1, Gen 2 on. We'll get that over to group. Gen 1, turn off the yaw dampers. We'll go ahead and get probes on, window heat on, trim air on. We'll go ahead and turn on the packs. We'll turn off the APU bleed. We've already set the... Uh, the cabin pressurization and we'll get our switches over to continuous everything looks pretty decent check 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 all right we'll get flight directors on how is this connected and bypass pin has been removed hand signal on the left we'll see you next time and have fun up there you know, this is what we did not do. <laughs> Moving too fast. But that's all right, it's pretty, pretty simple. I always forget to do something. All right, so it's all right. Let's take a second. Jazz. Day 53 to PHK. That's the purpose of the checklist. Okay, execute arrival at the Baron 4 PHK transition. Execute. We'll pick the runway once we get up there. Alright, so there it is. There's the flight plan. Looks good to me. We'll climb out initial 5,000. Yeah. Alright, so he's gone, right? Good. All right, make sure nobody's around us. All right, I think we're ready to go, guys. All right, Bass Square, we'll see you in a minute. All right, so we'll go uh, get our taxi lights on, turn off lights on, we'll leave the APU running for now. Go ahead and add a little power. 
to get us rolling. There's this nasty departure from LAX called the Orca 2. New pilots always mess up. I, I need to check it out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look at it, man. I always like a challenge. All right, so we're going to get out here on uh, to uh, November. I'm going to take uh, November to Mike which is straight ahead and we'll taxi out of Mike to uh, Mike 1 and we'll pick up the runway there <laughs> Basically you have to make you have to turn right by making a left turn. Okay. I get that. As awkward as it sounds. Kind of put a little speed up under this taxi, man. The longest taxi in the history. I should stop saying that. I say that about everything. So we get we getting out of here. We getting up here.
just kind of give us a little push. We're almost there. Toga taxi, come on, bro. I'm trying to, I'm trying to tell you, man. You know, I, I, I try to follow the airport rules, man. I, I try to follow the rules of the airport. Uh, you know, so we're doing 15. The, 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 uh, the, the taxiing speed limit is 10. All right, so uh, here we are coming up to the top of the airport already runway here. We made it, Bill. We made it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and kill the music. Come to a slow and easy halt. This oh, we lined up on the wrong line. That's all good. All right, so we we'll set the parking brake here. Set our flaps here. Get um auto brakes to RTO. Go ahead and let them know that we are ready to go we'll turn off the uh, APU landing lights come on everything else looks pretty decent okay the cabin is secured have a good flight thank you we'll go ahead and set our autopilot and uh, set the auto throttles on release our parking brake and we'll just we'll say that we've been cleared we get off of uh, one two's uh, taxi line and get on the right one Right. And we'll bust a Yui, as we say in Cali. Bust a bitch. Middle of the taxiway here. Right on to the runway. All right, runway eight verified on the ground. Looks good to me. On we'll keep rolling. Zero eight right. Go ahead and spool them up to 40%. All right, we'll go ahead and add full power. Take off power set. Go ahead and hit N1. We'll slightly push forward on the nose. Cross check. V1. V1. Rotate. Positive rate. All right, gears going up. So we'll make that uh, that left turn that we were talking about. We'll get a 
Make sure we clear those buildings. Go ahead and, uh... 1,000. Alright, there's a thousand. We'll go ahead and uh, engage the autopilot. We'll go flaps clean, gears off. Auto brakes are off. And we would just climb out of here, guys. A little bumpy ride up. There's somebody landing in the airport there. There we are. Getting out of there. Thought I saw somebody. Ah right, well, let's get back to our flight. <laughs> All right, so here comes 5,000. We'll hold 5,000 until we get out of the airspace. Uh, <laughs> Go ahead and sink the heading bug. Just in case the autopilot wants to get a little squirrely. <laughs> up, up, and away. Yes, sir. We are out. <laughs> yep, yep. Yeah, I know you knew that terminology, bro. <laughs> Getting a little turbulence. There's a jet blue plane up there. He's coming down. Uh, there he is. Landing into uh, Miami. <laughs> Another one over there off to oh, it's all right. Oh, oh, no, no, don't want to mess with that. Got a little turbulent weather at five. Go ahead and uh, climb up to uh, 16,000.
little thunder. Got some weather going on. That was gross. Sorry about that, guys. All right, there's 10,000. We'll turn lights off. Get our engines. Thousand to go. Yeah, man, I, I I went through the uh, <clears throat> the little Google, uh, or not the Google, but the YouTube uh, little creator thing for the audio, and uh, it had this little beat in there, so I kind of went in there and kind of favored it, some of them that I like. It's pretty nice. I like it. OB Games, what's up, bro? How's it going, my dude? Welcome, welcome, welcome back, man. Glad you made it, my dude. I, I, I like it, I like it. Pilot CJ, what's going on, my dude? We just checking out this beat, man. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I really appreciate it. 
Really appreciate that, man. Hey guys, if you haven't done so, go ahead and hit that uh, hit that uh, that like button. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and uh, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget, guys, at 100 likes, I'm sorry, at 100, not likes, 100 subscribes on our 100 subscribe. The very next stream after that subscribe will be our giveaway. So, uh, we have a couple games and, and things for you guys to participate in. Um, some of the some of you guys been asking about getting in contact with me so I set up the discord uh, server so go ahead and jump in there and uh, I post most of my um, announcements and stuff like that in there and you'll know what's going on if you keep up with me chit chat with me uh, if you ask bad squirrel I do respond I do chit chat I do talk with you He's been hitting me up all day. So yeah, you guys do that for me. Later on in the stream, we're going to reveal one of our newest features to, uh, to the stream. So you don't want to miss that. And then uh, from there, man, we're going we gonna to have some, some, some serious fun. Some serious fun. Yeah, Berto, I'm a musician by trade. <laughs> Uh, so I, I, I like good music, man. When I heard the beat, I heard the track, man. I, 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 I said I had to have it. I liked it. Not much to see. I play keyboard um, mainly, but um, I read and write pretty well. All right, so we have 16,000. We just gonna go ahead on up to our cruise of 280. Yeah, I, I read and write uh, music. Or I can read and write. That. Um, but I play uh, percussion instruments as well. Well, it doesn't make any sense actually to go up to 280. So, it's going to hold out the two. 
we'll, we'll, we'll stay. It's a short flight, so we'll stay where we are. Is that that one eight zero? Alright, so uh, let's look at uh, look at the altimeter for Orlando. Alright, so we've got 150, or I'm sorry, winds are at 150 at 7 knots, uh, 10 statute miles of visibility, a uh, few clouds at 6,500, a few at 11,000, uh, scattered at 25,000, uh, Temperature is one three or three one and the dew point is one nine. Altimeter setting is two nine or nine or six. So we'll put that in here. Winds are one five zero at a seven. So we'll go for a. Uh, one eight. We'll go ILS one eight right. Alright, I think we're gonna uh, we're gonna land on one seven. We're gonna land on one seven, right? Alright, so we'll go ahead and set up the uh, FMC for 
uh, one seven right. One seven right, <clears throat> and uh, R A toy execute. We look at our leg sheet. We'll take uh, the vectors out because uh, we don't have any air traffic control over there. Hey, my man, Bad Squirrel. Welcome back, bro. Just in time. the only one here hey man maybe so maybe so it's all good we'll hang out uh well it says we got three watching got three watching but we are not alone Alberto's still here.
Oh, okay. So we got a little bit of time. It's the six year time. Uh, so it's uh, was it three thirty? Oh yeah, yeah. We'll we'll be we'll probably be in and out by uh by then, man. It's three thirty your time. Well, thank you for that notification. So you got Fam Bam coming in, huh? What's up, bro? We're getting close to our top of descent because I see the. Sorry. I see the uh, scent profile coming down. So, uh, we should uh, be at 10,000. So, we're gonna drop this, hit that, so we can start coming down. Oh, it's your birthday, bro. Happy birthday, man. Happy, happy birthday, bro. I hope you enjoy it, man. Might have heard of it. I, I maybe. I, I don't think so. I don't know. I haven't been to, to LA in a, in a little while.
That's the only thing about this, uh, the older uh, version of this uh, the Zebo. It's sketchy, man. It gets to be sketchy. Alright, we coming into Orlando, and actually if you look, oh, okay, so you can't see it from this view, but the airport is back behind us. Oh no, here it is, up here. Sorry. Alright, so we're getting ready to uh, make this, uh, this left turn slow down to about 210. Here comes 10,000. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, kill the music. Get ready to set up for the approach here. Approach. All right, so we're set up for uh, Uh, approach course is going to be 187 or 185 and we'll put 185 in here we got 10,000 or we below 10,000 to get lights on Get our engine uh, ignite switches over. Let the cabin crew know that we are. We have been cleared for our descent. And I'm gonna add a uh, 30 
degree bank angle on this turn here. Try to capture that glide slope. We turn our radio over to 111.9. Bump that over so we get the uh, localizer. The localizer. Start slowing down to uh, about 180 knots. That we can go ahead and drop our first notch of flaps. Keep the one notch. Accidentally swap that down there. All right, so we are getting ready for our approach here and throw some drag in there so we're not over speeding <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah that, that, hey man, but you know what? That's 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 a great thing. I, I love it. I love the culture, man. I love that you guys stick together, man. If only other cultures could jump aboard that concept. We are better together. That's what I say. We are better together. Thousand ago. So
fly slopes coming in. Captured it by the localizer. We've got the glide slope. We'll go ahead and uh, twenty five hundred. So we drop our speed to one five six. Go ahead and uh, drop some more flaps. We'll get our auto brakes set. Flaps 25. That's uh, flaps 30. Auto brakes are set. <clears throat> and we'll disconnect the autopilot here shortly. Got a little uh, a left head wing coming in. Thousand feet stabilized, Mr. Perch altitude set. All right, auto throttle has been uh, disconnected. Disconnect the autopilot, my aircraft. Approaching one seven right. Flight slow. Flight slow. Flight slow. Flight slow. Flight slow. Five hundred Flight slow. Flight slow. Flight slow. Uh, trying to catch it. Trying Flight to catch it, guy. Flight slow. Flight slow. Flight slow. Flight slow. Flight slow. Flight slow. Lost a lot of power. Ah, eighty knots. All right, we'll go to manual braking, and uh, we'll go ahead and turn those off, and uh, we will exit here. Please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened until the seatbelt sign is turned off. To our right. Spoiler stowed. Open the overhead compartment. Be careful, as items may have moved in flight. And thank you for choosing American Airlines. Whew, man. I didn't like that. That was terrible. Uh, 
and make sure we clear the runway here. All right, we'll go ahead and put on our parking brake. We'll clean up flaps, and uh, we'll leave all our lights and stuff on for the replay. Sometimes it'll work, sometimes it won't. So, pretty much everybody's pretty much everywhere. Delta planes over here. I know that's the Southwest Terminal on that side. I think that's international stuff. There's a couple of Americans over there. So, we'll go ahead and, uh, we just taxi to <coughs> this gate that we're at, and I'll go ahead and still we'll go ahead and turn all those off. Get a uh, AP started. And we'll just go ahead and uh, taxi on to the the gate and uh, strike up some replays. Which, uh, we shouldn't be far. I didn't care for that landing at all. Let's catch that center line here. Tighten up the uh, tension on my throttle or my uh, rudder pedals because they seem to be so sensitive today. And now what we'll do is uh, we'll swing around this way here. I see a gate that we can take or that we're going to take. And this may not be an auto gate at this terminal because I don't see my little marshal, mar marshaler guy. But we do have auto gates at uh, MCO. But that's all good. We'll, we'll take it. We're, we're not staying long. Or he might be there and just the wall or something. Who knows? Uh, yeah, because he's over here. Or, yeah, he's over there. Oh, well. Cool beans. We're here. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Orlando International. we we'll jump up to the uh, tower. Get our replay. A replay going, although I don't really want to watch it. It'll be pretty bad. Alright. Give it a second. Let our scenery load in. Get our, our music back on. Hey, bro. Thanks for coming, man. Thanks for coming in, uh, Birdo. Appreciate you, my dude, for supporting me and hanging out with me, chit-chatting with me. You guys have an awesome time. Happy birthday one more time to you. And, uh, yeah, man. Go, go, go do some 
stuff. Good stuff. I know you, uh, you in Cali, bro, so anything goes, right? <laughs> and then, you know, my, my Mexico friends, y'all like to party, man. Y'all like to party. Yes, sir. Man, I have, I have a great rest of the day, bro. Happy birthday once again from me to you. And uh, before you go, I'll go ahead and give you a birthday shout out. A birthday shout out from your boy. Happy birthday, oh, my dude. Yeah. That is to you. And those of y'all that's in chat, go ahead and shout out Berto. Give him a big, big happy birthday. Ooh, look at that. Sketchy. Ooh. Sketchy. Let's run it back. I wasn't really paying attention. I mean, we maintained the center line pretty well. I, I'm impressed with that. Very much impressed with that. All right. It was all right, I guess. We'll watch it from the tower. That's pretty, it's pretty good on the nose holding, holding the nose up there. Hey, no problem, Jay. Appreciate you, my dude, for all of your support. It's greatly appreciated, my guy. Yeah, kind of dropped it down. It's pretty good. It's not as bad as it looked. Not as bad as it looked. But uh, it's pretty good. We'll do one more and then we'll get set up. We'll head to Montgomery. crab to the to the, the left that tailwind was or that headwind was coming in and kicking us over to the right but we're we're falling yeah gotta work on that maintaining uh, air speed All right. 
Cool beans. Let's jump back in here. The APU should be up and running. Okay, you can go away, Mr. Uh, what you call. And uh, we'll go ahead and get the uh, bleed on. Get the one and two off. Those landing lights off. We'll go ahead and... Uh... No, 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 no. Those are... Uh... Those... Oh. There we go. Get that up to APU. Get our probe heats off. Window heats can go off. Trim air can go off. Get our fuel pumps off. All of that looks really good. Alright guys, if you sit tight, I'm going to change out of the... Change out of the, uh, the Zebo. And we'll go for... Uh, Uh, well, nah, we'll keep the Zebo. We'll keep the Zebo. We'll just keep riding. Let's set up a... Uh... Actually... Let's see. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep the Zebo. Uh, what I need to do is... Alright guys, this is what we do. <clears throat> because I know it's gonna it's gonna crash me out. We'll call that a flight. And uh Yeah, we'll we'll call that a flight. Um we'll add a we'll add another replay in there and that's what we'll do. And then we'll come back with the uh, A three fifty. And we'll just fly today. Like a couple bit now, so yeah. We'll be back. Thousand feet stable. We'll be back shortly.